Guys, I just had to make this quick video to let y'all know what just happened. Uh, my kids wanted to go to the beach today. And so I said, all right. And already my stress levels were high because I'm thinking there are going to be dogs there. Uh, there usually are. And so I got there and I made sure that, that the no dogs allowed signs are still up. They are very clearly visible. And... Uh, get to the beach and what do I see I see an off-leash boxer type I would wager it was a boxer pit bull mix off-leash running around just meters away from a large group of kids that were running around screaming looking and sounding like prey what could go wrong right and I uh, I said to my kids all right well, they knew right away that that was going <laughs> to piss me off. So they said, let's go over here. Um, let's go to the other end of the beach. Uh, we went to the other end of the beach. And apparently my kids heard, I didn't hear this, but someone apparently yelled to the owner and said, get that thing out of here. And I was happy. I was like, that's great. Because uh, usually I feel like, I mean, like I'm the only one that speaks up and seems to me like no one else seems to care so I was happy to hear that and I looked around and I couldn't see the dog anymore so I figured they had left about 10 minutes go by I see the freaking dog again same place running around large group of kids and just as I am watching this happen I look in the water and there was a woman in the water with a huge ass black shaggy dog on a leash two dogs right there busy day at the beach a beach with no dogs allowed signs so i said the woman with the black dog was closest to me and i told her i said there are no dogs allowed here and she said oh even on a leash and i said no even on a leash like this is a dog free beach well i didn't see the sign and i said well the signs are there oh gives me attitude eventually walks away with the dog you know there's this dog freaking slobbering in the water where my kids are playing and splashing around I don't want them having to be near this thing anyway I see the lady walk away and she walks towards this uh, uh, like the beach has a, like a little playground area for kids to play on kind of close by and she's passing by that area and that is where I see that freaking boxer pit bull mix thing hideous looking thing man it was ugly well they're all ugly but this thing was especially hideous and uh, and the two dogs like greet each other get into a fight start snarling making a racket people I look around people are just carrying on um, like it's nothing and I I approached and I said uh, are you seriously just blatantly ignoring the rules do you guys think you are above the law and um, even before I said that I saw well they had pulled the dogs apart and uh, the the one that was in the water with the black shaggy dog was talking to the other owner and kind of motioning towards me like you know I knew they were talking about me probably saying ah there's this cold hearted nasty lady over there animal hater dog hater over there probably saying bad things about me but I don't know I'm mind reading again shouldn't do that who knows what they were saying but uh so after I told them like you know I said that dogs are not allowed at this beach and you're ruining my day because we're not comfortable around dogs um, the lady with the black dog just left in a huff she walked off and uh, left the beach and the other lady was like oh yeah well we're just gathering our things and took her sweet time and I just stood there took some pictures because I ended up sending the pictures of both dog owners and their dogs to the uh the operators of this 
beach or the people who are supposed to be in charge of taking care of this beach. And I said in my message that uh, I feel like I should not have to approach these ignorant, entitled, antisocial degenerates. Like I said, please enforce your rules, you know, um, because this ruined my day and it really did. It was not fun. Uh, you know, these people were antisocial, displayed antisocial behavior in two ways. Number one, by breaking rules, which are in place for everyone's comfort, health, and safety. And number two, by placing the task of having to ask them to leave upon my shoulders. Now, I'm sure there must have been people there who did not appreciate the presence of these dogs. Don't you think? I mean, has the whole world gone crazy? Ah, oh, man. If there were people there, they were too afraid to say anything. Uh, afraid of facing that narcissistic rage, which we talked about in a recent video I uploaded. Um, but uh, I've, I feel like at this point, every time I step out of my house, it's like stepping into a battlefield and I need to put on my armor and I'm ready for battle. And uh, I was very careful not to lose my cool. I didn't yell, I didn't swear. I just used very clear language and uh, eventually they both left. But it makes me wonder how many dogs show up there every day. You know, we stayed for a couple of hours. Uh, I didn't see any dogs after that. But uh, are these people going there like, how, you know, how often and is anyone else speaking up? I don't know. What should I do? Should, I think I'm going to write a letter to the newspaper, although I've written a letter to the editor of our local newspaper about the, the, the large number of pit bulls in our town and how, you know, I feel that this is a very unsafe situation and they just ignore my, my emails. But I think I'll do that. I think I'll send this these pictures and my message to whoever I can local paper but uh I mean the audacity of these people thinking they have the right to do what they're doing and you know just to have these beasts so close to children without a thought <gasps> excuse me without a thought in the world that maybe one of those kids is uncomfortable around the dog maybe someone here at this beach is uncomfortable because these people honestly I think they see their dogs as their children and they think they have every right to bring their dog there just as other people have the right to bring their kids there this is madness absolute madness it's a shit show it is a circus out there guys crazy and I'm uh, I'm practicing the techniques that uh, Ragnar taught me um, radical acceptance because I have these thoughts like it shouldn't be like this. It wasn't this way, let's say five years ago. I used to be able to go to this beach and relax. I would lie down on my towel. I would just chill and feel good and feel happy and feel relaxed. And now I am like waiting to see off leash dogs, just waiting for them to appear. And they do appear. Uh, last summer, I remember it happening regularly as well. But it's coming to a point now where it seems that this is the new normal. And uh, and I know that this is happening elsewhere. It's not just in my town. I know it's happening all over uh, because you guys tell me that you see the same things. And um, man, I'm just, I just needed to rant a little bit because it's just unbelievable that I can't enjoy the beach anymore. And you know, I feel... Uh, sad. I feel like I'm grieving because I remember those days. I remember how much fun it was to go to the beach and not have to worry about dogs. I used to let my kids uh, dig in the sand. I used to bury them in the sand. And now, knowing the number of dogs that frequent this so-called dog-free beach, I don't feel confident letting them play in the sand. Uh, you know? My son wanted me to bury him and I was like, uh, no, no, we're not going to do that because you know why? This place is now a dog toilet. 
These dog owners have ruined it for us and for many others by turning our beautiful places into dog toilets. And even if you pick it up, those parasitic eggs and bacteria are left behind. There are always traces left behind. Um, this is absolutely outrageous, disgusting, and uh, just a nightmare. I feel like I'm in a nightmare, honestly, and I can't wake up. And it's like this horrible state of affairs just keeps getting worse, it seems. Well, I'm just going to keep speaking out and providing a platform for you all to express your um, rage and your feelings about this because I know I'm not the only one who sees a big problem with this. Gradually, these dog owners are taking away everything from us. All of these dog-free spaces that used to be enjoyable for us are disappearing. And we have nothing left because they're just taking over everything. Where can we go to get away from dogs, guys? Nowhere. Nowhere. I think, you know, in our home, we have to stay home. And even then, we are bombarded with a barrage of barking from all the neighborhood dogs. Even in our homes, there is an onslaught of dog noise. We can't escape. It's a nightmare. Anyway, thanks for listening. And uh, I'll talk to you later. And let's uh, remember, the future is dog-free.